This is Lockie and I'm Ash. We're two Aussies who have been traveling and living in Europe in our van Tommy for the past year. Subscribe to our channel and join us on this crazy adventure. And we're the only ones up at camp. Everyone seems to be sleeping so much here. It's 20 to 9 and there's not a soul up. We've been awake for hours. So we've just driven into town this morning in B camp and as we were driving a little wheel symbol like came on um, the car. So now we've been trying to figure out what the code means. But our little code detector thingy doesn't really say much. So we're just going to take it to a mechanic and hopefully get it looked at just to be safe. So, change of plans, Lucky's reset it and the symbol's no longer coming up on the dash, so we're just going to see how it goes and um, it's happened to us once before and it's all been good, so we'll just see what happens and we're only travelling short distance today, so hopefully we won't have any drivers. So we just left the van and we're currently in Fee Camp or Fickham or Fakamp, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, we don't know how to say it, we'll leave it below. Just walking beside the marina, checking out some boats, thinking maybe we should jump to Yacht Life. None of us can say although, so we'll probably stick to the van. So beside the uh, cobblestones in the port, they got like this red spongy walking path and it is very delightful on your feet. Very good. Highly recommend to anyone who sees one to step on. Got to the beach in Fee Camp, Fickle, or Fee Camp, however you say it. Uh, a bit disappointed that there's no sand. Lovely cobblestones, not as good as the soft foamy stuff we've been walking on, but it's nice. Nice well, beach. We didn't rush here yesterday to go sunbaking on the cobblestones. It's still nice, I think it's nice. It's nice. Ashley loves to have a winch. I just like to have a lie down on the beach. It's really astounding when you go to areas like this, because uh, we're in Normandy or Brittany or wherever it is. How many World War II bunkers you see just hidden around everywhere. Just on the left to us, there's about four or five bunkers. It's pretty crazy, they're very well hidden. It's just amazing to think if you're a little British or American, Australian, New Zealander, little boat coming in thinking you're all safe, and then bam! You know? get you. Yeah, they get you. So we just walked around Port Deputy Camp and I said to Lucky, what do you want to do now? Do you want to go walk to one of the big churches or something? And he goes, why don't we go to the patisserie? Classic Lucky wants a pastry. What'd you get, Lucky? Got a baguette, wholemeal baguette, and a chocolat éclair. Treat yourself every day, apparently, according to Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> it's chocolate in it. Mm. I thought it's usually cream. Were you hoping for cream? I think that's what she was asking me. But because we can't speak French, I just got the chocolate one. Oh, and what is it like? Chocolatey? It's good. The viewers need to know. It's if like they come to Fee Camp, should they get one? Yeah, it's like a cannoli mix on the inside. It's really nice. morning we drove from Fee Camp to Etreat. Not sure if I'm saying that correctly either. Etreat maybe. Which was about a half an hour drive. No highways, just really relaxed. And now we're heading to the beach from the uh, motorhome little car park thing. Just got to the beach. Full pebble beach, no sand unfortunately. But check out these pretty cool views. An amazing spot. She knows her.
to the uh, peak looking over all the Normandy cliffs. So just come to the side a little bit and the cliffs just go on forever and ever. You can just about see where we stayed last night which is super cool. But, uh, the view from this, this little outlet where we are right now is just absolutely sensational. Unbelievable. So up on the cliffs as well, there's this really cool idea that someone done. They got a World War II barracks, or bunker, whatever you want to call it, up on top of hills, looking over the ocean, and they've turned it into a, like a house, a farmhouse or something. It is just the greatest idea. There's a little garage there by the looks of it. And where the old guns used to come out, it just looks like they put windows in. Absolutely great idea. And right beside it is just a big cow pool. Really, really cool. We are pooped this afternoon, so we opted for a really easy dinner. We just made a bit of a cheese, meat, veggie, fruit platter kind of thing and bought a baguette on our way home. Hello. <laughs> How's the shower, Lucky? Very cold. <laughs> Very cold. Look at that water. Every time he showers, he doesn't put the mat. Ay ay ay. How was it? Fresh. I feel very fresh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> morning guys it's quarter past seven in the morning and I'm just heading into town and there should be no one there hopefully at this time because it seems like most people in Europe don't really get out and about to travel till at least like nine ten o'clock at the earliest so hopefully I'll have um, the big walk to the top of the cliff face all to myself and you will notice that Lockie is not with me he is still in bed classic Lockie So yesterday this was absolutely packed and now there's you know a few random people walking around but uh, nothing in comparison so it pays off to get up early in Europe most of the time. So that's where I'm walking to the top to this morning and that's where we walked to yesterday. So there's people everywhere on this cliff face and even the one we were on yesterday you could see them even from afar there was it was that crowded but this morning I can't see anyone up there and there's one man walking a fair way in front of me he's about to go up so should be good so it looks like people are camping up here which I don't know if it's allowed probably not but they appear to have gotten away with it so good on them I'm the only one up here which is just crazy but I'm going to take it and I'm not arguing with it. So you can see the sun's just rising now. It's going to be a bit cloudy today so that doesn't help but it's pretty amazing. So it's just starting to rain now not heavy so not gonna go back yet. it's a real shame Lockie couldn't get out of bed because he missed out on that amazing view but who knows maybe he'll surprise me and he'll be out of bed and maybe he's strolling through town so there's actually a little cave formation that you can actually go through on a boat or a kayak there and that's the famous one. I think I've spotted Lockie in the distance. He's wearing his red wet weather jacket and a backpack so pretty sure it's him. Look who it is. Little Lockie got out of bed. Good job. It's <laughs> raining. Show everyone your hoodie. Uh -huh. What you look like. Uh -huh. <laughs> so last night in a trap or however you say it we just stayed on a little place that we found on park for the night as there was no really 
um, parking close to the city enough that you could walk or near anything and it's just next door to a caravan park and basically you pay eight euros you can park in there um, it's a boom gate so it's security um, and they do have water and electricity that you can pay extra for but for eight euros it's not bad um, considering you can walk everywhere from here so chocolate block though but considering chatting yesterday I'm not surprised <laughs> 